The Renault Traffic is one of those models that deserves more sales than it gets. It's impressive in many ways, and even class leading in a few. But with the lack of an automatic transmission, many buyers aren't flocking to the French model. And we think that's a shame. Here's why. For the past six months, we've been living with the Renault Traffic van. No, we haven't started up a moving business. It's been used by our camera guys as a crew van. We'll get to what they thought of it later on. But first, here are seven reasons why the Renault Traffic is one of the best vans you can buy. The Traffic can be had with this nifty load through port that allows you to store items up to 3.7 metres long for the version we have here, or 4.1 metres long for the long wheelbase version. A rear view camera is standard in the Traffic, which is a bonus when parking, even though it doesn't display through the big screen media unit. Renault recently updated the traffic to include side airbag protection as standard and dual front airbags and load adaptive stability control are standard as well. The 1.6 litre twin turbo diesel is a corker. There's so much pulling power and excellent refinement. You almost forget the fact that it can't be had with an automatic gearbox because the drivetrain is so easy to use. The traffic doesn't drive like a big long van. It's easy to swing into parking spots, steers nicely at low and high speeds, and whether you've got a load on board or if you're running around empty, the traffic rides over bumps very well. With 5.2 cubic metres of cargo space, the traffic is one of the best vans in the class for load room. And you can option it with dual side sliding doors, glazed or solid, and either a tailgate or barn doors. We've only had the Renault van for six months, so we haven't had to get it serviced. That's because it requires maintenance every 12 months or 30,000 kilometres, whichever occurs first. That's a bonus for business buyers because it means your work van won't be off the road too much. So from a review perspective, the traffic is very impressive, but we left it with our production guys to live with the van for a few months. We've given them about 10 seconds each to tell you what they liked and didn't like. Wonder if there'll be any similarities here. I really like the way it drives. It's just easy to drive. It drove a lot smaller than it was on the road. Shifting through gears is easy and the clutch isn't too heavy or too light. If I wanted to take it away for a weekend, like a lot of guys do, I could probably take it down the coast, chuck a mattress in the back of it, go surfing, chuck a bike in there if I wanted to. Easy enough. Plenty of room. Room for everything, really. The entertainment system was very well kitted out. Um, absolutely everything you need. Um, and the, the forward visibility was just terrific. You have just a, such a great, great view of the road and your surroundings. The smartphone cradle, if you put a larger phone in it, it doesn't fit, but if you flip the phone holder to the side, it fits. A few of the things I really didn't like were the heavy doors. Um, the whole mechanism just felt a little bit chunky and a bit heavy. I wasn't so keen on the fact that I couldn't put a car seat in the front of it. Because our van had the roof racks on top of it, you couldn't really take it underground in any underground car park. The button layout of the, the steering wheel was a bit strange. The big flat windows kind of have these weird reflections on it from all around the cabin and looking straight ahead you can kind of get the reflection from a car that might be next to you and think it's coming from the other side when it's not actually there. The handbrake's really low so you've got to really reach down a lot lower than you expect to be able to get it and it feels uncomfortable. And also the fact that there's no automatic transmission option is a bit unfortunate. The lower part of the split mirror kind of is pretty blurry when you look at it and it's hard to use so it's better just to use the bigger part of the mirror. There's no roof grab handles as well. So instinctively, I go to grab the, the roof and there's nothing there. And if you're in the middle, there's nothing. So you've got, you got nothing to hold on to. At the end of our time with the van, the entire crew, including the Car Advice review team, agree this would be a brilliant van for business buyers, if that manual isn't too much of a sticking point. <laughs>